Thanks for tuning in to see what's happening in and around Grace Church. I have some really exciting news for you this week. It's something that's been in the works for the past several weeks, kind of behind the scenes, is we just didn't know where it was going to land. But before we get to it, I want to start by saying that we have been praying for the past few years that the Lord would provide for us to be able to be a regional church. We've talked about the need for the gospel to spread across the UP, the lack of people who are engaged in church, who are engaged in following the Lord, um, and lifestyles that just are not reflective of someone who is in a committed relationship with the Lord. And we've been praying that the Lord would move and that he would use us to help network with other churches, to uh, coach, to encourage, to build up, and ultimately to be able to um, help move the gospel forward across the UP. And so a couple of years ago, we started with those prayer cards where we prayed for each of the counties of the UP. And we did that on a monthly basis where we were encouraging everyone to be in prayer, that the Lord would move, that the Lord would provide opportunity, and he has. Woodland Church is in Ironwood, Michigan. It's on the very western tip, right close to Ashland, Wisconsin. And they have been without a pastor for the past two years. And we can relate to that, that, that season of not having consistency, that season of trying to make it through, of surviving instead of thriving. And so we can resonate with what they're going through and they're struggling to find quality candidates. And so Pastor John, as part of the Board of Overseers on our district team, reached out to them. And he asked the question, how can we serve you? How, how can we help you in this time of need? You're three hours away, so we can't really commute on a regular basis and, and be preaching there on a regular basis, but how can we serve you in this time? And ultimately, what was said was, maybe we could watch the live stream. Maybe we could partake in the worship service and have some consistency in teaching and direction as far as um, knowing what to anticipate for the series that we're in and what we're learning and, and why we're learning it because it's been a rotation of three elders who have been trying to continue to carry the mantle, to teach on a regular basis and they are tired and they need a time of relief. And just as Pastor Tim came to us and provided that time of relief, we are now as a body through the live stream able to provide relief for this body and to welcome them in to joining us and how we're aiming to be reverent before the Lord and to lift up his name and to have the gospel move forward across the UP. So we're praying that this would be a time of unity, a time of John 17 where Jesus prays that as the Father is in him, that we would be in the Father, that we would be united as one body and moving towards his purpose to build his kingdom. And so this is an opportunity for us to provide relief, to provide a, a consistency in teaching and to provide spiritual enrichment for brothers and sisters who are, quite honestly, out of our range of influence. And yet they're brothers and sisters within the UP who we have prayed for their county that the Lord would move and the Lord has provided an opportunity. So with that, I wanna to read to you. 1 Thessalonians 5, starting in verse 16, it says this. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. You see, we are called to be in prayer. We are called to find alignment with the Holy Spirit and what he is doing. And we don't always know how to make sense of what he's going to do. But what we know is that we can trust that he will lead if we open up our hands and generously give our lives to the best of our ability to him. If we live in surrender to what he has and we wanna celebrate this opportunity to come alongside brothers and sisters and to encourage them to provide relief and to invite them into a season where they don't have to just survive, where they can begin to thrive where the elders and the leaders don't have to worry about the day-to-day -day tasks, but they can worry about what it means to shepherd and to care for their people in order that they would grow in the faith and that they would have a brighter light in that community. So I wanna encourage you to join us as we pray for this church, this uh, church out in Ironwood, Michigan, called Woodland Church, that the Lord would powerfully meet with them 
encourage them, equip them, enrich them, and allow them to be a bright, bright light in that community. I'm excited to worship with you on Sunday, and we're going to share a little bit more about this and what it will look like going forward. So please join us on Sunday as we come to worship the Lord and as we come to start for the very first time providing a live stream video for another church all the way on the other side of the UPE.